Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Logan. Welcome back to the West Desert Wheeler channel. Today, we are going to be comparing my Axial SCX-10 II Raw Builders Kit on Capra axles, which I refer to as my comp crawler. And then I've got my four wheel steer 2.2 inch tire Axial Capra. And I've run that one in a competition before. The great news is, is that there is an RC competition coming up this weekend and I will be filming a video and getting that up as long as I attend the event, which I intend to. And uh, I'm really looking forward to going out and running my comp crawler because I actually haven't even run it in a competition before. I have run the capper in there before, so I went out today to experiment and see, is my new comp crawler really going to outperform my capra? So we're going to run these up a few really tough obstacles that I know of in this area and see how they compare. Looking forward to it. Let's get after it, guys. All right, guys, since my SCX-10 II does not have rear wheel steering as well as it does not have a dig function, I'm going to not use those features on the Capra today. So we're going to be driving this as a drag axle rear, non-rear steer Capra. Obviously, these cars are still very capable as that, which is how they come out of the box. So we're going to see how it performs. The big advantage the Capra has is these slightly taller tires. These are 5.1 inches tall, whereas the uh, comp crawler is running 4.7 inch tall tires. So a little bit smaller, it doesn't sound like much, but when your car is only this big, that makes a big difference. Here we go, looking to grab some traction on that front passenger tire. Front driver tires up in the air. Oh, may have gone a little too far offline there. Now this spot is kind of notorious for me not being able to make it. So we're gonna see how interesting this really gets. This may just end up as two fails. We'll see which one gets further. Now one major advantage that the comp crawler has is it's a uh, brushless system in there. So it's super smooth crawling. My Capra is still a brushed setup. All right, we're gonna give this guy one more attempt here. I already rolled over, which would be really bad in a competition, so. That's where I want to be. It's just that rear tire up against that ledge is forcing the front end around where I don't want it. Once those front tires get in a bind, it unloads the front suspension, giving me a worse center of gravity. So we need to get this thing to settle. So this is not necessarily competition type obstacles. All right, we're gonna call that a fail on the Capra. It's not a competition type obstacles, but I do wanna see what these cars can actually perform like. All right guys, next to come up and try this obstacle is going to be my SCX-10 II Raw Builders Kit Comp Crawler. Now, the second big disadvantage this thing has is the tire compound. So the Axial has bigger tires and these tires are not as soft as the Axials. Um, I really want to go get some Predator Compound Pro Lines, but uh, just haven't gone down to the hobby shop to get it. I will probably stop by Sky RC and snag a set of those before the comp. Okay, now I've got that rear tire and an undercut. It could easily flip the truck over. I need to get that front end to hook and pull the front end, pull the rear end up. Come on, comp crawler, fight for it. Well, we snaked our way up through there. Running out of traction here. That's it. Now we got to go through this little notch that I'm straddling here, and then I want to go up that wall. So let's get to it. Like I mentioned, I've been denied on this obstacle multiple times across multiple trips. So we'll see if today's a good day or not. Without the good tires on this thing, it is very likely it won't do this. Getting that front tire to start coming up. You just want it to evenly come up that wall. We're gonna to start to turn into the wall. The other side's gonna dip down. It's gonna unload that right rear. 
right rear should start to climb. Wanna keep that left rear on the rock. We're gonna turn into the rock with the fronts. Bring it on up. Uh-oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Okay, it barely held on there. It almost slipped off. So it's gonna square up to this wall. And then we wanna actually go just a little bit past the driver. Then we're gonna come back passenger. It'll make the belly clear. And looky there, the comp crawler got it. Very nicely done. All right guys, obstacle number two. We're coming up on another one that me and my friends often challenge each other on and see who can get it done. We've tried it with all types of rigs, including RC four wheel drives, as well as different Capras. Let's see how the old SCX-10-2 handles it. Apparently we're not gonna get that rear tire to clear that ledge. So it's gonna start climbing it. We need to bring our fronts up along the side of this. It's not quite getting the traction I'm looking for. Let's try and line up with it one more time. Oh, all of a sudden it just hooked up and left. Okay, now it's not over yet. You gotta get to the top. These ledges can easily pull the truck right back down. And there we go. All right, here we go with the Capra. I apologize about the wind and the audio. Uh, the wind just kicked up a little bit more here. It's been a pretty off and on day. Hopefully it goes away soon. Very much not likely, but okay. Working our way up the wall. These tires are hooking up a lot better than my other ones are. Okay, now this tire did not get on the high side of that ledge either. We're gonna see if we can work the rig up here despite having that back tire down there. Man, this thing is just not nearly as smooth as that brushless system. Like I say, it's not over till you're up. You gotta make it all the way to the top. Whew, okay. I made it a little quicker with the Capra, but I also had just learned the line from this one. So call that one a draw. Let's move on to the next one. Now when limiting the Capra to front wheel steer only, I'm really surprised how well this little comp rig does. I think it's ready for a competition. Uh, why don't we go try and find one more obstacle to prove that, and we'll see what happens. Final obstacle, guys. This one is never a gimme. You gotta get it the line just right, and it's kind of an odd line. You gotta keep the rear end really high at this point, and then we're gonna have to start climbing rocks, but we wanna swing the frame around this rock. So you gotta climb strategically. It's not pretty. And then you gotta get your rear tire on top of that. Got the top hook. You don't wanna get too crazy sideways, which we're getting there. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a reset on that one. I didn't take a backup on that at all, and I probably need to. So, let's see what happens. We just wedge our nose in there this way. And then swing the front end around. There we go. Got that tire on the low side on the ledge. And then the bottom side tire is not climbing like it was last time. Swing it around there. Just follow that ledge up. We're gonna drop that tire off the ledge to allow that back right to climb. And then we're gonna climb back up on top of this rock. And then we're gonna let that back tire follow that front tire. Let's go get a better angle of what's coming next. So we gotta see if this front tire will stick or flip us. Trying to flip us. Now it's starting to stick. Drive straight. Crank it. Didn't stick. We'll keep going forward. Front tire's in the air again. 
Okay, we're just gonna take a quick back up here. Take a totally different angle at this. It's got our tires where we want them. Just kind of climbing one ledge at a time. Got another ledge in the front. Get that up. All right, super clean. That is how I like to run that line. All right, one big advantage the capper has rolling into this is that it does not have the frame that sticks out front. So should have way better clearance. We're still gonna keep our rear end high. But as we start to climb here, we don't really have to worry about that frame. We just gotta get the tire up on the rock. There it goes. I'm gonna take a back up right here. Not much of one, because once you start turning the other way, it really changes the position of the truck. There we go. Got that rear tire exactly where I wanted. Oh, we're bellying up on the link there. Uh-oh, now we're in trouble. Yeah, we lost our line. We're gonna have to get out of here and reset. Front end keeps kicking over like that. It's a prop. It's a problem. Kept it on the tire. There we go. Took a few minor resets. Nothing all that crazy. Left the tire on top of the ledge the whole time. And then we're gonna follow it around. Get that back tire up. This thing seems a little more planted right here. Like it doesn't quite want to flip as bad. See, even these tires don't want to stick. Okay, now it's stuck. We're, we're in a pretty precarious spot. That's it. Not bad. Well, dudes, I am super excited with how both of these rigs ran. I think they both did excellent, and I'm really looking forward to running this one in its first comp. I'll bring the capper along just in case something goes on with this one, and I need another vehicle to run. But for now, I'm going to let you guys go. The next video should be the competition itself. Really looking forward to it. My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Be sure to hit the affiliate links down below. That's how you can help support me here. I am going full-time on YouTube, and I would greatly appreciate it. I hope to see you guys around, and keep the rubber side down.